Hello everybody and welcome to the same just play Stellaris as the Jedi. I am kind of curious who is actually here because maybe it's actually not a amiibo or something like that. Maybe it's another empire. I'm not sure. Or at least they're not staying in here. And they're not constricted by high planes because there is no high plane in that area at all. So I would like these borders to actually grow a little bit because they are just tad too small right now. Also what is here? Crystalline entities. I don't believe they're that strong. So we... Well if we build a couple more ships we should be able to take them. And we can go for some destroyers if we upgrade our spaceport first. Rivalries and everything like that. Uh, these things. So, yeah, let's see. We have two Corvette classes at the moment an auto generated one and one generated by me, I assume. I do like mine better. Except for that the trusses need to be updated. Uh, yes. But uh, for the rest, yeah, uh, I prefer to have one medium gun instead of three smaller ones, I think. Well, I don't know. And how does our destroyer look like at the moment? Large and some small. Research complete. Ooh, what did we research? Oh, the coil gun. Oh, that's really nice. Um, what do we want now? So the mineral processing plant is pretty much the exact same thing as what we had for the energy plant. It, um, it produces just as much, but gives a 10% bonus to everything. All other minerals produced at the whole planet. And the downside is it is a separate tech thing and it's a bit more expensive. Maybe its maintenance is as well higher. Hmm. That might be quite a big of a downside. But I'm gonna get that anyway. And we're gonna put our industry girl processing of that. And then put you back over here. And Durston. But then again, we should probably put Anne Durston over here. And put this guy over there because he's still gaining some experience. Well, Anderson has the maximum experience anyway, and you gain experience faster in a science ship, and we get more bonus out of her right now uh, by doing this. So yeah, this is this is better, I think. All right. Yeah, we have some construction ships now doing nothing. Well, we can actually start building a research outpost over there. And I would like you to upgrade yourself and you as well. At least I assume uh, Yeah, maybe we should put this module there instead. Oh that's a level one. I need a level two. This gives us 8 to the 36 damage, while this gives us 13 to 18. And the cooldown is about the same, and the accuracy is about the same, and his range is better. So yeah, his arm, uh, he has better armor penetration, but he has higher average damage and such. I like it. System survey complete. System survey complete over there. Let's survey this system because it's almost in reach. And I wish our Psy Warriors were about done. But we have to be patient. I hope that the Frontier Outpost actually does expand his borders, like the colony ships and such do normally as well. 
basic boulder beacon. Oh, so that does like sound to me like complete. it can be upgraded eventually. That's interesting. System survey complete. System survey complete over there. Uh, we did this one. We did this one. We didn't do this one yet because the crystalline entity is over there. Uh, actually, oh, that's a construction ship as well. No, the construction ship needs to be building there and here still. Okay, and you need to survey the system. We're not building anything on the surface of Durable. So how much food do we have? Five. That's more than enough. So that means we can destroy one of our uh, farm, hydroponic farms over here. This one we can get rid of and we still be at positive food even. I think I will. So we're gonna replace it. We are doing really well on energy. And we're doing really well on minerals. We can place a power hub over here. But no, I'm gonna go with a science lab. Yes. And we're gonna replace this. It's a four producing level two power plant. I'm gonna replace it with a power hub. And it should net a total profit for us. Because there are so many things producing energy. Because it's a small loss at the moment. Since the level 2 power hub actually produces a uh, power plant produces one more power. But since he gives a 10% bonus to everything on that planet, it should be absolutely fine. You're done constructing over there as well. Yeah, we're just waiting for systems like these to actually be inside of our borders. Unfortunately, I wish they already were. We want to keep our planets busy with building as much as possible. And so our sectors as well. So we will give a little bit of stuff to our sectors. So they can actually Ships keep working. Upgraded. Spaceport can now build some Ships upgraded destroyers upgraded. next month. Um, we don't need solar panels, so that's fine. Construction complete. And build a destroyer. At least, what we can't. We need a level three spaceport even. <sighs> All right. And why is this not uh, updated? That's better. But he goes back to it. Well, before we just build the destroyer, we will then take a look at it. But we need to upgrade our spaceport at another level, apparently. So let's do that once we have the minerals for it. Should be next System month. Survey complete. Our survey done. Check that in a moment. Complete. And research is done. All right. Um, yeah, well, why not let's go for some extra auto cannons. And we do some shuffling again. You stop your society research, but do some real gun research. And then you're doing physics. Sure, let's put you on the Psy Warriors. You're done building. There are a couple of things I want here, but uh, we have to wait a bit. First of all, we will clear this dense jungle, I think. Now we should build a power hub over here. Now we need to upgrade these. System survey complete. Hostile fleet detected. Another hostile fleet detected. Oh, we can... Oh, this is continental world. How have I missed that? That's uh, quite important, actually. We're going to colonize that world as well. That's a big mistake, I would say. Um, hold the spaceport construction. construction build a colony ship instead. 
the other t things that are not being worked at the moment. That's not a problem. We can work it like that. And uh, you're not doing anything. Well, I would like you to build at least a lab over here. You're not doing anything either. Let's upgrade the lab. And then we'll look again. How are the sectors doing? Okay, yeah, they're, they're not ba doing bad at all. Some doing better than others, but uh, in general they are doing fine. Just wish I had I had seen this system before. Complete. I would have colonized it before the rest, actually. Let's upgrade you. And it might be time for us to actually build a couple of spaceports. I don't think we have spaceports anywhere at the moment. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right right now, but uh, soon we should be probably doing that as well. And with it, this planet also over here, I think we might be able to connect the borders Construction here. Complete. Construction complete. Um. Yeah, we need to upgrade this physics lab. I want to upgrade you to a physics lab. Physics is uh, regaining quite a lot uh, compared to what it was before. Construction complete. System survey complete. And which system survey is completed? Uh, this one. Over here. But I still think that we're doing quite okay. Uh, definitely not bad at all. Construction complete. Putting some hard labor in all our systems at the moment. Um, yeah, he is more expensive in the maintenance. And there's not that much minerals in this system at all. I'm just gonna put a normal mining network. System survey complete. Alright, you can go there. Uh oh. Fall beast, you had better prepare your fleet. Pause, please. For this is war. Our flesh harvesters are coming for your cup. So we are at war with these guys. And they want to take my planets. Oh no, we can select the war goal. I want to vassalize them. Set that as the demands. Alright, that's gonna be a problem because we are pretty much equivalent. Their technology is inferior, but their naval capacity is equal and their fleet power at the moment is uh, superior. Which is understandable since they are um, actually probably building a fleet. Since we have been lacking that for quite a while. I'm gonna group my fleet together over there. They are pretty much already complete. together. Well, no, they should stay here, because this is where the new ships will come as well. I will group you up. And I will even cancel this colony ship. It hurts a bit, but it's kind of important. Then we're gonna make our sure our design will be the best one. And to do that, we're gonna delete this design at least. Make a new design, a, corve a Corvette. Where is he? I think it's just this one. All right. Our new design would do what? I think we're just gonna go with this and then put a coil gun, a nuclear missile and a red laser. Do everything a bit. Get a fusion reactor going. 
get some deflectors going. Yes, yes, I would like you to have a little bit more damage output. Alright, we're gonna design this name, the everything. Nah, that's a bad name. We're gonna call him the fighter. The fighter class Corvette. And then we're gonna build two of those fighter classes. And then we're gonna build some space sports. I think our projectile defense module will be good for you. You're not doing anything on the surface, so let's build a physics lab. All right. So yeah, this is going to be uh, quite interesting. I'm curious what kind of uh, technology they will be using for going into our systems. Construction complete. There they are, and it probably means they are either warp. No, they're even wormholes. So they have a strength of 361. Uh, which is pretty much strong enough to attack us with many things. But we will be we should be able to see what kind of weapons they have. At least I can see they're firing missiles. Construction complete. Station under attack. And this this station, but we ha are building one over here. That's kind of unfortunate. Construction complete. But we are getting some more ships as well. In accordance with a semi-static war economy policy, our valiant citizens have started to make sacrifice in desperate defense against the alien uh, aggressors. Right, that's one of our policies. War economy, semi-static. So we get a higher military production efficiency. All right. Uh, would like to build some more fighter class corvettes soon. People are unemployed. Ah, because this is being blockaded and such. We need some uh, extra ships. Uh, can we see now what kind of ships they are? They have armor, quite a lot of armor, and they're firing torpedoes, which are negating our shields. So let's update our ship design. We don't need shields anymore. Uh, we're gonna put some extra armor on our ships. And uh, wait, that's the, uh, we need the fighter, this one actually. Like that, we're gonna put extra armor on our ship design. And they're not f having any shields if I'm correct, they just have a lot of armor. So we want weapons that are good against armor. Is this good against armor? No. You have better armor penetration. Therefore, we're gonna go with red lasers. We don't have and torpedo defense guns, unfortunately. So this will have to do. And while they are busy doing that world, um, this world should build a spaceport. It will take a while. Yeah, yeah. Complete. Albion has been done with that. We're gonna save our minerals a bit for now. Complete. Uh, let's see. This fleet. We need you to actually enter orbit. So you actually cost us a little bit less. Build a fleet. We want more fighters. I want you to merge and enter orbit. Construction complete. We will have some time to prepare ourselves against them. Uh, but they are getting more ships as well, of course. Research complete. Psy warriors. 
The mind is in many ways a reflection of the universe itself, a microcosmos. All species may not reach this insight, but the minds are tools greater than any other. So we can get some Psy warriors for this war. Ooh, a Psy army. Soldiers gifted with psionic abilities, their focus on destructive psionic powers has led to drastically different tactics and strategies on the battlefield. Their first objective is always remove the enemy's willingness to fight. Sure, let's get that one. And um, what did we research here? Cold fusion power. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what do we want? Plasma thrower is effective at armor. Uh, would like some point defense actually. Missiles and striker crafts. Alright, we need to update our designs once again. Fighter class. Oh, did I not save that? That's a big shame. Uh, we want some cold fusion power. And then some armor. That, and we build some fighter class. They're a bit cheaper now to build. A bit cheaper. Can we get some, recruit some armies over here? Let's see. Because I'm curious if we can get some. What's it? Psy warriors are an attachment to an army. They're not an army itself. I'm gonna recruit some defensive army over here. Let's build just two of them. Oh, we can actually. So that's really nice. Construction complete. Even though they're being bombarded, we can still get uh, defensive armies. System survey complete. Yeah, let's keep on doing your jobs. Nothing going on here. Nothing at all. Except for a war, of course. And he does have a wormhole station over here now, which is a shame. Do you want to make a quick run for it and see if we can actually attack that? Can be too dangerous. I think we will be fine, but it's gonna take a bit before we actually will be able to get our war production up and running once these um, stations are actually done. Because it looks like he's gonna be bombarding this planet for a while, which is absolutely fine in my opinion. Because we can get some more fighters out of class. Equipment of the armies have been completed. Because the only reason why I can see that he is actually going to do this is because he wants to actually attack over here. Army health, army damage. Yeah, we want uh, definitely Psy Warriors attachments. Now let's build some more. And that's the thing, the Psy army is, instead of an attachment, the army itself. And they were pretty strong compared to what I saw here. They have 250 health, 600 morale. While a normal assault army has 230 health and 230 morale. So that's a huge increase in morale. And 1.6 oh, to 3.2 damage and 1.8 3.7. Yeah, the damage themselves is a lot more, like almost double, and the morale damage is insanely higher. Yeah, uh, I would like some psionic uh, army, yeah, actually. They do have pretty cool designs on the ships though. They're all the same class, except for this one. Corvette, QHS, Lucky Plumbage. Why is it different? Uh, 
It has level 2 missiles and a red laser instead of... Oh, and there are medium torpedoes as well. They have only chemical thrusters. Yeah, we should be able to take them based upon that. But I want some higher number odds for that. I want to destroy that wormhole station as soon as possible as well. Might even go in a little bit sooner than is wise. Um, Albion has finished his spaceport. Build about 10 of those fighters as well. An embassy. Ah, they're almost done with bombarding though. Complete. More attachments. Get the Psy Warriors, man. Oh, and you're done with constructing uh, ships. So let's cancel one over here for now so we can start building one over here. Get that one back in the queue. They pretty much bombarded all our planetary fortifications away. And I think they're sometimes even killing some pop of ours. That's not nice. So the fleet is over here at Omicron Persei. Just a bit away, but should be fine. Research complete. Sentinel point defense. Ooh, maybe we want to upgrade our ships first. We don't need the next level lasers. Let's just go for blue lasers. Make one a point defense. Sure. I at least hope that point defense will work against them. But let's save like that. Um here cancel this fighter class upgrade you to the last de latest design shouldn't be that much time oh and of course there are different designs in this fleet so let's see you have fighter corvette fighter and Mulder. oh I uh, we only have two classes, the fighter and the murder, I believe. Now there's also a tomahawk. I'm gonna lead you. I don't like that one. So hopefully they will all upgrade towards fighter classes. They're still bombarding here, even though there's no planetary defense left. Alright. Come on, upgrade faster. Please. And there is another spaceport finished somewhere. Build me some fighter class. System survey complete. Let's check that over here. Uh, this science ship. We are equivalent in fleet power at the moment already, which is nice. Um, army recruitment has finished over here I'm not gonna recruit more army over there because it doesn't look like they're going after them uh, in that way at least so what kind of yeah you have the point defense and some lasers it's pretty much what we want hopefully that will work I really hope that it will work against those missiles if so we can probably negate most of the damage we do have better rail guns though we have three special things. This is for kinetic weapon damage. This is for 
hit points and this is for energy. I would like some kinetic damage. And this is her specialty, so that's fine. So we have small red lasers. How much better is the normal real gun? Turning point for three accuracy is 76%. Range is higher. 50% armor penetration is a thing though. But they do basically the same amount of damage. The armor of a ship reduces all incoming damage by a certain percentage. High armor value reduces more damage. But with a diminished effect. Fine, we'll go with real guns instead. Because the latest form of real guns is quite a lot better. We will have a very diverse fleet. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. So I'm curious what these yeah, these have the latest design that I made. Alright. Build some more. System survey complete. And that's the problem I have usually with building ships in these, of designing ships with these games. Um, every technology makes them obsolete pretty much. I need to redesign them and everything like that. I'm gonna send you to enter orbit over there. Once you have arrived, I will send them to here and then we will go together to attack them. We have the numerical numbers and probably the advantage of having better designed ships as well against them. Should hopefully work. The only thing that we're missing is a leader. Oh, we have an admiral. Alright, that's great. I'm gonna assign you as a leader. Gives us better ship hold points, but we can't jump out. So it's pretty much an all or nothing... Uh, Battle. Gonna merge these two fleets. Gonna merge this one in there as well. System survey complete. And then we're gonna move onward. Uh, we've surveyed that system. That is already surveyed. Go over here. Survey more this area now. Oh, there's almost nobody left in there anymore. So he probably jumped somewhere else. Um, we need to make sure that we destroy this war mill station then. Because that probably means he won't be able to jump anywhere else anymore afterwards. You will probably be stuck. Complete. I am curious where he did jump to though. Maybe he jumped away from my system? I can't imagine that though. He is completely done with attacking me for some reason. Oh, maybe because my fleet just jumped in. Go after that station. Construction complete. Oh, it needs to be repaired. Oh no, that's not something that needs to be repaired. All right, I think we can do this now. But this episode has been going a little bit over time already because of the war. Next episode, we will probably start to bring some of the war to them as well. We have enough power to take down a, a space station at the moment. 
And we, but I think maybe we'll start defending our system first, build some space stations and stuff like that, and then bring the war to them. But that's all gonna be in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.